It's like I won the lottery, God is good, I'm shining on him. Heavy is the head, it wears the crown, I'm feeling lightweight, oh yeah, cause I shit it on him. Play the game, I know what I'm doing, checkmate. Sashay, anytime I walk in the room, right brain, cause I been that chick. Come up in the place and I kill that shit. Self made out of poverty, brick by brick. Never gave up, sitting pretty and rich. I'm saying like they wanna take a flick. Shoot all net, swish, swish, 100% never miss. Took me years to glow up like this. Address me properly, high priestess. Goddess, baby, I'm flawless. Diamond VVS's and all my watches. Time is other essence when you in my presence. Foot on their necks, call it pressure. Ashe, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for your continued love and support. I am Naylor Latrice, your favorite spiritual advisor. I am here to give you give you all some messages for motivation, elevation inspiration to help you all to really think and shift your mindset okay sage in the space here and let's go ahead and tap in to see what is going on with your money here okay that's what i really want to be able to tap into and see what's going on with your money your career Give y'all some messages on that, okay? You guys can book your personals down below in the description bar. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages are here? Insurance, okay? So every time I do a read, all right, with these with this deck, insurance comes out. So there's definitely something about insurance. Something is insured, some type of uh, yes, or some type of career choice is a yes, or it's something is insured for you. Something is guaranteed for you, just for you. I'm hearing just for me. Y'all remember that back in the day, the perm, look, debt paid. It's insured that your debt is going to be paid. Your debt is insured, okay, in spirit's hands, in God's hands, in the hands of the universe here. Okay. Also, you could be getting some type of insurance payout here as well. I heard a story about someone who, um, I mean, a lot of people this takes place with, you know, but they get into a car accident and they get it, you know, they get a lump sum of money and they do something with it. They flip it, you know. Um, also, I'm hearing to be a good steward over your money. Okay. What is being given to you? What is being trusted to you? All right. Even though it's like getting money the way that the that, that spirit will have you to get money, getting money, not in the way of the matrix, but trusting that spirit, the universe, God, your ancestors, that they are going to take care of you, that you, your higher self is going to guide you and lead you to all of the right places, the right answers, the right people, the right situations, the right experiences for you to always be financially taken care of. You have to think more abundantly. You have to think plenty. You have to think overflow. You have to think exceedingly. So you have to trust that there is more than enough, that all things are possible for you when it comes to your finances, no matter what it looks like. You have to see yourself with any amount of money that you desire. You have to see yourself purchasing or with the things that you decide to purchase with whatever money you have. If you want to purchase, you know, um, a new work system, see yourself already using that system before you have it. If you want to, you know, buy yourself, you know, different things, you know, because you're connected with yourself and that self-love, that self-care, see yourself with the flowers, see yourself with the jewelry, see yourself with the car, see yourself with the trip, see yourself with the ice cream. It doesn't big or small. See yourself with those things and you it will appear to you. Money really wouldn't even be a factor if you could get everything that you really desire um, and ask for if it didn't cost money. You know, it's about that the actual thing and being assured that, you know, that you can have whatever you desire. Changes. Yeah, you have some major changes that are here that are taking place for you in your life when it comes to your money, your finances, just your, I'm, I, it's a really, really feel good energy. Look at this split in the deck. We have entrepreneur here. Okay. And then loan approved. 
I'm trying to tell you here, dress to impress. Yeah, you're dressing to impress or you need to dress really nice as this entrepreneur show up as this entrepreneur that you are. OK, you, can, you guys could be going to a meeting or you guys could be having, you know, like some type of um, online meeting or, you know, meeting someone in person, like for coffee or something like that. I'm here an agent. You guys are discussing things with people, maybe contracts and stuff on the table for some of you guys. And this is how you guys are getting your money. Some of you guys, this could be brand deals as well. Look, entrepreneur wants to be here. Something in your life is changing. Yeah, you could have, your loans could have been denied as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, or, you know, even personally and privately. Maybe you've been being rejected, you know, for loans, whether it's a car loan, a home loan, for apartments, for even jobs, you know, or something like that. But as you see, something is guaranteed with this insurance. Okay. And for some of you all, it's literally, you're getting a, a, an insurance payout. I know y'all just heard that. There are some changes here. It's like, what? I can't think of the quote, but it was something like, the butterfly wouldn't be the butterfly if the caterpillar wasn't brave enough to go through the change. You get what I'm saying? So you have to you have to transform whether this is your mindset, whether this is locations, you have to transform your uh, the people that you're hanging around. You have to transform your, your job, what you do for work, how you think about money, your relationship with money here, the way you think about your business. You, you, you have to, you know, put your time and effort into it. You have to really be serious. OK. This is for somebody. I see some, I, I keep hearing packaging orders. So some of you guys are shipping out orders here and it's guaranteeing you some type of money or change. Your business is requiring, is, is requiring some type of change. You being an entrepreneur is changing something about your life. It's changing, it's changing something in your, um, in, you know, in your world. You know, it's not easy. Nobody said it's going to be easy. Nobody said it's going to be easy. But it, depending on who you are and what type of lifestyle, you, you just, that's the energy that's coming up here. Resign, retire. Yeah, you, you're resigning from something or retiring from something. Maybe you're saying, hey, I'm resigning from the matrix. I'm resigning from going to work for somebody else. I'm not working for anybody else. I work for me. I work for spirit. I work for God. I work for the universe or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Whatever, how, whatever your beliefs are. Something of that energy or whatever you do, you're going to be able to resign early. You're going to have more than enough money to invest. So you guys may be into investments as well. You guys may be investors or like investing your money into different situations. You guys may invest into insurance as well. That may be something you're investing in. Yeah, you have a lot of responsibilities. You're learning something. Something is new to you. Internship. It's like I'm hearing preemie. You're a preemie or you're a premature. Somebody could have had a premature baby or a premature child is what I'm picking up on. But responsibilities here, you're learning how to negotiate. You're learning how to, you know, not be afraid to be you type of energy. It's like you're not it's like you're not negotiating who you are for nobody. But you know how to negotiate business deals, right? But you're not negotiating your energy or who you are. You're not lowering yourself for anybody when it comes to the workspace. So there could be competition for who you are and what you do. But, you know, when it comes to how you get your money or, you know, how you show up, you know, it may be very competitive, you know, real estate or something of that nature. You know, there could be plenty of things, insurance sales, right? Um, whether, you know, you're selling to the actual corporations because that's how they're employees get their money, right? Those benefit groups um, or are um, individually. You get what I'm saying? Because people need insurance. So also this is saying to go to the way you get your money is through insurance. If you know how to bank like a bank, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of that, but that's what you're being called to do. Look into that. It all starts with uh, purchasing insurance and then, you know, going from there. But I'll let you guys look into that on your own. But it, it's being mentioned here for a reason. It's like that's how the Rockefellers and everybody who own the world, so to speak, quote unquote, you know, that's what they do. So it's like get, I'm hearing get like me, young job. Yeah, you got a lot of responsibilities. I'm hearing heavy as a low, heavy as the head that wears the crown. So you may have a lot of responsibilities on your shoulder because of what you're carrying out. But it also doesn't have to be hard. It just requires consistency. 
For some of you guys, consistency may be difficult, but that has to change or that's changing. What else is here? I put that one back, but it's whatever. What else is here for whoever clicked onto this video? Well, dang. You could have had some unexpected expenses here as well. Yeah, we have need a job, unemployment. So some of you guys could have been unemployed or you guys could be unemployed right now. But if that if you are unemployed, that's why spirit is telling you to be an entrepreneur. Focus on being an entrepreneur and watch how spirit blesses you with money. Watch how God comes through with money or Ja is what I'm hearing. Spending. Look, spending and shopping. So something's taking place. So there's something about the way you're spending or how you're shopping. Spending and shopping is the same thing. Sometimes because, you know, you can spend and shop, but then you got to spend on your expenses, you know, like for your mortgage or your rent, your utilities, your car notes and your food and, you know, everything else. So that can be a different type of spending. That's not necessarily shopping, you know, but pay attention to how you're spending OK, looking at your numbers, I'm not going to say budget because to me, that's a limiting mindset. But also budget is saying to know, know each category of your finances. You know, OK, this is food category. This is, you know, travel category. This is, you know, home categories. You know, this is, you know, having a different. This is kids and, you know, sports and, you know, the what areas do you have knowing those areas and making that fit, you know, what you're spending, making sure that fits what your income is. You get what I'm saying? And compare that to how you're shopping. How, you know, are you purchasing things that right now you you. You, some of you guys may really be, um, you know how they say the Lulu, you know, be the Lulu about your dreams and your goals and stuff. You guys could just be shopping and just saying, you know what, I'm going to spend whatever money I, I'm going to spend however I want and I'm going to still be taken care of. You get what I'm saying? But for some of you all, and I ain't, do what you're doing, right? You know, that you're manifesting. But for some of you guys, this is also saying pay attention to your shopping compared to what your household income is pretty much. So it could be different for different people. We also have huge decisions here. OK, I really don't want that down there, the shopping and so forth. I really just be liking the one at a time. I think I might just I was going to say leave it here. Saving money. Some of you guys are saving money. We also have interview. OK, some of you guys are going on an interview as well. So we've seen interview. We've seen entrepreneur. We also see resign, retire. So if you're resigning, retiring, this is either somebody got let go from a position or this is you're you're letting go of something. OK, and you're, you could be starting your own thing. OK, you could be investing in yourself. Some of you guys could be getting a job just so you guys can. You know, invest in your own business. This could be a whole lot, a different, a bunch of different things here. Yeah, some of you guys are saving money, so that's why you guys are going on this interview to save money to 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 invest in your own business. Yeah, micromanage something about micromanaging. Somebody could have been micromanaging you or watching you, and they they could have said, you know what, we got to let you go type of thing. But uh, even if that's the case, you're gonna have another interview. Or, or something like that, or maybe you had an interview that's going to come through for you. Yeah, look, <laughs> we're hiring. See, so you're, whatever this position is, it could be new. You guys could be going out for a brand new position, something you've never done. OK, with this, we're hiring an interview and it's entry level, but it's going to pay your bills and it's going to have really good benefits. OK, you speak your life. Look, that's what you're dressing to impress for. So we have a lot of different messages here. But it looks like many of you guys are definitely supposed to be entrepreneurs here. But and it looks like you guys are working to be able to invest into your own business. Some of you guys are working, you know, of course, to pay your bills and so forth as well. But, you know, but also some of you guys, you guys are just doing your own thing. You guys are really free. Revelish is what I'm hearing. And it's like the way that you use your money is. You just use your money how you use it. You know what I mean? You ain't on no budget. You ain't in no matrix. You just like, hey, I'm doing what I want to do. And spirit is going to always take care of me. You're kind of just, you know, uh, I'm hearing free falling, free falling. 
That's what I'm hearing. So it's like you're just going with the punches or something like that. So a bunch of different, you know, energies here. This is general. Let's see what else is here. Great spirit, what messages are here? Okay. Going forward. So something I, I'm hearing is pushing you forward or something that's going real fast. As you see this street, you know, it's a two lane street. And it's it's like the like the energy as, as if they're going really fast. Don't dwell on the past, but focus on creating a brighter future. So if something did just happen and it was kind of disappointing or something unexpected, that it was that's spirit pushing you. Spirit is going to take care of you. You may not be able to see tomorrow, the day after, or even two days, ahead, you know, um, two weeks ahead. A month ahead, but spirit does. Spirit got you. So if something unfortunate or you, it's like, dang, you, you thought someone was supposed to work out one way and it didn't, that was pushing you forward real fast. It's like that was how the energy was supposed to shift. You're not supposed to be around that person no more, be at that job no more, or whatever the case may be. It's affecting your money. Manifest the new. You can't make this shit up. Embrace change and envision your desires. Allowing the universe to align with your intentions. Spirit has to break something up. Spirit has to let something go. Okay. That way it's like get you out of something. Something's going to, something may happen unexpectedly around in your money, you know, um, or some type of situation. Spirit is literally picking you up and putting you in a new direction. And if it didn't happen the way that this is happening or going to happen or already happened, then it, it's like you wouldn't have seen the signs. So spirit literally like putting it boom, like so, some type of interaction or something, you know? Okay. And yeah, because you're meant to manifest something new when it comes to your money, when it comes to your, you know, you, whatever you're experiencing, your situation, your life, everybody literally has a different life. Even if there's even two twins have very different lives, you know, because they're two very different people. So again, this is general. You guys can book your personals down below in the description bar. All right. Let's see. Yeah, but you guys are definitely moving forward when it comes to even your way of thinking. Look, ship, water, ocean of possibilities. You cannot make it up. Navigate through the boundless ocean of possibilities where horizons whisper of untold opportunities and plentiful paths. Again, didn't I say you got to think abundant? You have to think plenty. You have to think more than enough. You have to think, you know, the rivers, the waters, Mami Wata. Okay. Las Madama. Okay. The mothers, the mamas. Look at all of this. Embrace your potential. Explore abundance of opportunities with an open mind. Answers reveal limitless horizons for your journey, baby. And here we got divine timing and trust the process. Everything's happening exactly how it's supposed to. There's an ocean of possibilities. Connect with water. Talk to the waters. Be in your divine feminine energy. Fellas, if you're listening, connect with the divine feminine in a more like Take care of her. Be kind, not sexually, but you. I mean, if that's where the relationship is, okay. But I'm talking about don't let that be your main focus, fellas. You know, really genuinely connect and want to honor and be there for whatever woman is in your life, whether it's a mom, a sister, you know, a, a lover, whoever, a good friend. Sewing into women, fellas, is how y'all get blessed. Come on now. But y'all ain't ready for that conversation. <laughs> it's like, seriously. So tapping into that divine feminine energy, the waters, wombs, women. We have a womb. We are life. Come on. Nothing can enter into this world without the woman, without the, the, that, that female energy. It's just not possible. The waters, the waters has always been here. The waters flooded the earth. A woman's emotions. What he say? Uh, 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 <laughs> um, I, baby boy, he said, I am going to call them the B word. I'm going to call them unstable creatures. Yeah, that's the word for the day. Unstable creatures. <laughs> like what? 
He said, we're in the house with a bunch of females, emotional ass females. That's that water. So don't play with her. Recognize her. And ladies, I'm talking to you too. Recognize who you are, the women around you. Let's be real to our women. Let's heal our women. Tupac, we got to be real to our women. We got to heal our women. We, ain't, we can't ourselves, right? That's where these possibilities come from, from a healed feminine connection. But I may be, you know, going off on a different type of frequency for some people. You got to tap in. I mean, you really want to live that life? of abundance and i'm not talking about what the matrix calls abundance but i'm talking about true spiritual abundance you got to tap in trust your intuition that was deep beneath that's that moon energy as well that cancer energy something is happening in divine timing and divine timing over your life a lot of possibilities are here if you only believe Woo! something explosive is happening we got this out in the other one and the last one. And y'all see how they coming out? So clearly they've been shuffled. It pops out. Look how it pops out. It wants to be here. Sculpture of, of self. I hear, how do you see yourself? How do you view yourself in your mind's eye when you're meditating? <clears throat> Are you meditating? You get what I'm saying? How do you view yourself? Do you visualize? Are you doing your manifestation work? Do you know that you are in control of your life? You do know that you are the G-O-D, the generator, operator, and destroyer of your own life? So how do you visualize your life? How do you see your life? That's what you will become, what you're thinking about constantly, no matter what the 3D show you, that's old energy that's already manifested that you just experiencing now. That what you seeing and experiencing is old. That job you that you're working at, that person that you with, all of that type of stuff, it's old energy. You get what I'm saying? Of what the thoughts was. It had to happen in the spiritual. The, the, the physical is always catching up to the, to the, to the spiritual. Because the spiritual happens first. So things can get better in a relationship. Things can get worse. You get what I'm saying? So Because the energy is past energy. So you just got to see you know, what continues to come out, what continues to play out over the next few weeks, over the next month to, to let you know, oh, okay, this is what is going to continuously be. No, nah, I'm good. I'm straight. You have the power to change your, or get out of a situation at any time. It's up to you. It's your world. Destroy that, that frequency, period. Get off that frequency. You're the one operating on it. And you're the one that generated it. If you don't like it, it's up in your face for you to, to be conscious of it, to destroy it, because that's what your subconscious mind is manifesting. The things that you don't want. You get what I'm saying? Focus on those things that are taking place that are amazing. I'm grateful for everything. When I tell you everything, I'm grateful for everything. I keep my gratitude list. I journal all day, every day. You get what I'm saying? You got to see the good no matter what, because life is just life. But it's about your perception. How do you view yourself? Shape the sculpture of self, honoring the perpetual act of forming and expressing your identity. Create a new identity. Embrace change and rediscover yourself, crafting a narrative aligned with your true essence. So this is saying create a new identity when it comes to your money, when it comes to your work, when it comes to what you do as an entrepreneur or however you get your money. Maybe some of y'all get your money because y'all rich wives. Okay. Do you, if that's what you do. I've been a housewife, you know, so... It's what you decide how it's like, but the point is for some of you is change your, your mindset around money. Look, this was one of the ones that was out here on the men. Something is getting better. Didn't I say the relationship could get better? So for some of you guys, the relationship is, is mending, is healing. There's a relationship that's being healed here. Be compassionate and kind to yourself as you heal your heart. Okay. Your own heart is mending as well. 
getting better. Growth is a journey, not a destination. Welcome improvements one step at a time. Okay. So something is definitely mending and healing here. Your heart, your heart with somebody else as well. And this also doesn't have to necessarily be a lover. This could be, you know, family, you know, it's like y'all, y'all is something is being mended as well. A friendship, anything, or just your, your, your mindset when it comes to money is being mended. That's that other thing, you know, is your, your relationship with money and work and your business is getting better. But your heart space has had to heal before you were able to receive. It's all about what you're able to receive. And your heart space was only receiving those things that you didn't want. Or that's maybe seen what may seem like that's what it was. But it, it, it's just because you had to heal your heart to open up to realize, you know, you can receive more. You can receive better. You can receive those things that you did really desire. So your heart has mended here. OK. So. I believe I'm going to leave it here. Okay. Uh, congratulations to you all and your mindset shifts and the work that you boom and the work that you all are doing <laughs> and so forth on yourselves is really showing. It's really playing out. You guys should definitely be experiencing it tangibly. You guys should be able to be able to hold things in your hand or you guys are speaking things and you guys are seeing it show up. OK, that should be where you are. So continue to pay attention to what you are speaking. You get what I'm saying and what you're focused on because it's manifesting rapidly. You know, rapidly is a month from now. Rapidly is two is is two months from now. You know, people be thinking about all oh, a few days and boom, boom, boom. They want it to happen. But two months ain't long. A month is not long. The year be going by just like that. You know, so something can be happening rapidly, very, very quickly. And meaning that's over the next, you know, 30 to 60 days or next one to two months, you know, and that means that you got to have time to prepare for things as well. Sometimes everything isn't just up and go or, you know, up and leave or that type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Up and quit. You know, so some things take preparation, but for some people, it is like a shit spirit said, I got to bounce and you quit that job immediately or you tell that person, hey, I can't get this no more chances. I got to cut this off now. I got to move out type of energy or a spirit may just uproot you and one day you in one city and the next minute you like, God dang, spirit literally like something can happen within one day. You can get a phone call or anything can happen. And then the next few days or the next day you in a whole nother city. Like, how did this happen from that call or from this situation or like things can just happen just like that. You can run into somebody, meet somebody that somebody calling, you get this job or whatever. Things change all the time. Right. So. But my point is, two months is still a very quick time and it gives you something to look forward to and to prepare and to plan for as well. So just I, I don't know why, but I'm also when I said that I'm, I heard proposal. Uh, OK, so somebody may uh, be getting proposed to. OK, somebody may be getting I heard a ring on their hand. Somebody may be getting a ring on their fingers. Somebody wants to marry you. OK, is what I'm picking up on. That's not going to be for everybody. But, you know, if you've been in a relationship for a little while and, you know, y'all been talking about going to the next levels and, you know, you see the signs are there. This could definitely be for you. So, um, yeah, somebody's ready to propose. So go ahead and tap, tap, tap in. Congratulations with everything when it comes to your money um, and the advice here. Again, you guys can book your personals down below in the description bar. Give this video a thumbs up. And baby, I will see you all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice.